In this case, the private resort where you last saw Alice Guo or there was an eyeball of Alice mm -hmm. Guo there, were you able to talk to that private resort? Is there any indication that they were also assisting in hiding Alice Guo? Yes. Assisting is uh, quite an understatement, right? So they were, quote-unquote, uh, for, well, for lack of a better term, uh, they were providing quite a, a number of illicit uh, opportunities for her to be able to get out via that particular western part of the Philippines. It's a very small island, privately owned, uh, run by uh, dubious individuals, so to speak, individuals of dubious characters who have uh, in the past been in the news for some illicit activities. So uh, we're doing a thorough investigation with regards to that particular uh, resort in as much as we found indications that there were public officers in that particular resort guarding that particular resort. So uh, it's going to be part of our investigation as to why they were there. And quite obviously, they have a lot to answer for. Mm -hmm. At the very least, uh, that is a private resort. There should be no public officers guiding, guarding that private resort. So why would taxpayers' money be used to guard a private resort? Yes. Director Winston, can you give us an idea which province this resort is located in? Uh, Central Luzon. Central? Okay. <laughs> so I understand because an investigation is ongoing. Yes, ma'am. Okay, but it sounds like you have public officials that are involved. If you have public officers guarding this resort that you said has done more than just assist Alice Guo in terms of hiding her and then facilitating her escape. And there were statements by the PAOC before that wealthy businessmen and public officials were involved in helping Alice Guo escape. Is the PAOC also gathering evidence against these individuals as accomplices or co-principals in certain crimes? Yes, ma'am. Uh, the sad part of all of this episode is it's quite obvious that she would not have been able to do this without the assistance of public officers. That's the, uh, a, an essential component to the president's statement. He, wanted to find, he wants to find out who among us in government assisted this particular flight. In as much as doing so, well, they, as he said, he, these particular individuals are corroding our criminal justice system. Right? So that's what he said. So we're investigating all of this thoroughly. Unfortunately, there are too few of us. I mean, commission, the PAOC, the commission. There are only 52 of us, but with the assistance of the NBI, the uh, PNP, and the DOJ. Our partner in all of this is uh, the DOJ IACAT. They've been with us through and through in this fight against Pogo. So I'd, I'd like to commend the Department of Justice to Secretary Boeing. They've been, uh, they've been our stern supporter at the very, since the very start. Now, going back to the question. <sighs> By the way, it's a very difficult question because you're talking, we're talking about fellow officers of government, right? It's a very sad uh, fact, but we'd have to meet the problem head on. Uh, we would not be able to fully investigate, quote-unquote, fully investigate how she got out and how she was able to build that particular 10-hectare uh, complex in her particular municipality if not for the assistance of some people in government, both previous and current. They may be national officers, they may be bureaucratic officers, or they may be elected uh, officers, local and national. But at the end of the day, we always go back to the instructions of the Executive Secretary, our Chairman, Lucas P. Bersamin. Simply follow where the evidence leads you. 